Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. It's coffee time. Remember the cup. Always remember the cup. So yeah, I mean, we're still, still, still a war going on. Uh, Putin and his amazing army are now, well, it's claimed they've bombed a disabled care home and more and more civilians are being targeted as the army trundles towards Kiev. They reckon they've destroyed 48 schools because they're of military interest. Again, all this stuff is, put, you put it on the... Uh, the war crime list. So it's, it's quite interesting uh, because China came out and they made a statement. Um, China, this is this is getting interesting because China's always been like an ally. They've always been like on the same page, China and Russia. But China's refused to supply Russian airlines with aircraft parts. Yeah, this is interesting. And in a statement, they, for the first time, Beijing has called the invasion of war. So it looks like that the Chinese government, like I said they would, I did kind of predict it, that the Chinese, they want to be a part of the world stage because, you know, business is good. You know, money always wins. Remember that. And this is interesting. So he's, you know, Putin's managed to turn Russia into a complete pariah. Um, but they're coming out with this thing that, oh, you know, um, there's biological weapons in Ukraine and the Americans. And of course, when they say that, there's a reason why Putin's saying that. That narrative is because the Russians are probably going to use biological weapons. You know, so when the UN finally do go in, or if there is an investigation, you'll find traces of this stuff. And they say, well, it was, we said it was the Ukraine. It was the Ukrainians all along. However, Russian state TV... Again, like the Chinese, a flip flopped. They're not towing the party line, and uh, during um, uh, during a discussion on this is on, oh, does it say what channel it is? It was on one one of the TV channels. I'm just trying to get up and waiting for the pop ups. Um, this is an evening with Vladimir Solovyev. Of course it is. It's a Russian primetime talk show. And Sir Semyon Bagsdorov, he's an academic, he appeared there. And he said that this was the worst thing, you know, it's worse than when they went into Afghanistan. Um, and to actually criticise Putin and the Russian stance at the moment is incredibly, well, brave <laughs> and amazing that it went out. Um, so, you know, you get the feeling the tide might be turning. Again, this is the optimist. I hope, I really, 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 really hope that um, there is a tide and this will not go the way you know, Putin wants and that they'll finally get back. Um, meanwhile... Chelsea Football Club, we've talked about them yesterday, have been hit hard by the sanctions because old Roman Abramovich has been sanctioned. Um, they reckon they're going to run, run out of cash in 17 days. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Isn't it a shame? Isn't it a shame? Not really. Um, again, you know, it's only football. Just have to pay the footballers less, won't they? They can get proper jobs. Um, meanwhile, Facebook, authoritarian Facebook, are allowing posts that call for Putin's death and violence against Russian soldiers in their in a in a temporary rule change. Now, again, if you ever use Facebook, it's a weird place that you can find yourself uh, sanctioned. Like I've been, I've been blocked for many times for bullying, and it's a, it's a load of bullshit. It's bullshit claims because anyone can report you, and you have zero option to fight the claim. You know, a, a robot says, eh, "You're blocked for seven days." You know, and that's that's Facebook. But is that? It's that hypocrisy I can't stand because Facebook has all these rules, anti-bullying rules. You can't say this, you can't say that. But in this instance, we're gonna we're gonna let it slide. We're gonna let it slide. They say you can, you can't. Culture that we've got, you know, and I don't agree with this. I think you know they have all these draconian rules. They should stick to them. They shouldn't make exception for Putin. I know, you know. I mean, I've said it on here. You know, wouldn't it be good if we put a price on his head? 
you know, and that's different. That's, this is YouTube, and you have a bit more of a you have a, a better chance of um, you know fighting claims and whatnot. In Facebook, it's just you know, and I think it's again rank hypocrisy here, rank hypocrisy of of the Facebook um, people. Um, they should again. It's it's old. What's his name? Isn't it? Yeah, Nick Clegg. Boo, Nick Clegg. I mean, my Putin himself. They reckon he, they're fight, he's fired eight generals. <laughs> sent them to sent them to Siberia, I'd imagine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not good. Let's see if I can find any funnies. It's, again, it's not it's not really. It's all pretty serious stuff on the Daily Mail website today, unfortunately. Um, yeah, all pretty, all pretty miserable stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. But I do have stuff in the, I do have something in the funny, in the funny. Mind you, <laughs> dogs, dog story. Crufts, Crufts is returning to Birmingham's National Exhibition Centre. Uh, the Kennel Club has, however, banned Russian dog owners uh, from taking part. And it will affect 30 uh, dog owners and breeders. And so 51 dogs in total have been banned from the, sh the show. But m meanwhile, we do have we have some French bulldogs coming out in solidarity. There they are. They're wearing the Ukrainian flag. There it goes, as, as an attractive neckerchief. <laughs> The sanctions have even gone as far as crafts. Shocking. Shocking, really. Um, again, just scrolling through, see if I can find some funnies. Um, but there aren't any. Again, there's the misif again, misinformation that Russia's putting out. It's all pretty... It's all pretty grim stuff. Mind you, there is misinformation on both sides. You'd have to be very, 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 um, very wary of what's out there. Mind you, this is good. I like it when they do this. This is a TikTok star, Jordan Lyon from Doncaster. Um, she, um, he, she, trans, they're always they're always transgender, aren't they? <laughs> they're always, they're always transgender, but they do this was it catfishing thing, and uh, with the makeup, they look like this. Without the makeup, ten pointer, mind you. With that one, you get a little extra. It's like the uh, the male jelly babies in it. Always always ask for a male jelly baby because you get a little extra. And uh, I'm sure you get a little extra with that one as well. A little, a little surprise. Anyway, uh, that's TikTok for you. Meanwhile, try, someone trying to blow up Lorraine Kelly. Apparently, there was a bomb alert at the ITV studios. <laughs> oh dear, and that terrible. Who'd want to blow up again? For those of you outside the UK, Lorraine Kelly is a long-established um, media person. She does interviews and. Uh, but we'd want to blow her up. Just light and fluffy television. It's very, 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 very strange. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Who wants some? Who wants stupid? Right. This is stupid for you. This is at a, a petrol station at Washington, up in Tyne and Tyne and Weir, the co-op petrol station, and. Um, You've got to see it to believe it. The CCTV footage there is absolutely bonkers. And it's um, the fella goes into the station and fills up a wheelie bin, 143 quid's worth, a council wheelie bin, green one as well, so he's, he's, uh, he's ecologically friendly, with petrol. I shit you not, 143 quid's worth of petrol in a wheelie bin. I don't think he realises just how dangerous that is. Not only can you be overcome by petrol fumes and die. Did you know that? That's how that's how uh, lethal petrol can be. But it can also ignite. You don't need sparks really. Sometimes you know, petrol can just go. The vapours can just go boom. Uh, but hey, there's no cure for stupid. Remember that. No cure for stupid. 
Here we go. Who wants look, everything's rainbows these days? This is the Rose Veiled Fairy Rass, um, which they've discovered off the coast of the Maldives. Um, I went down to depths of between 131 to 229 feet. That's 40 to 70 meters below the ocean surface, and they found a Cirillurabrus finifenma. Oh wow, that is a. But look at look look everything's a, everything's a rainbow these days, including this one. Whoops, one window. There we go. What a what a pretty little fish. I bet it tastes nice with some batter and some chips too. What do you reckon? No fish on Friday. Just me then. Um, <laughs> oh come on. Some people. Right, let's have a look in the in the funnies folder. I think we've got some funnies lined up. Um, uh, yeah, this is the story of an Uber Uber driver. There's always one. Uh, this Uber driver, <laughs> he was driving a Mercedes Vito minibus, and he followed his um, his sat nav, as you do, because like everybody, everybody trusts the sat nav. Odd to Saddleworth more. You know, you know where this is going, don't you? And uh, he ended up like that. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> it's all gone. It's all gone wrong. The, the website's crashed. <laughs> wait a minute. Right, this is what happens when you don't use the Daily Mail website and you use the Sun website instead. Sun website just doesn't like it. Wait a minute. Let's try again. Let's try that again, shall we? Here we go. Let's try that again. He went on to sat. He, was, he followed his sat nav. Are you listening, dear? Are you listening? He followed his sat nav onto Saddleworth Moor and ended up like that. There you go. I mean, there's been many stories like this where they uh, end up taking you into rivers and and whatever. <laughs> Health news. Not only is there going to be a new there's a there's a new Omicron COVID thing Delta, Delta Omicron it's called Domicron <laughs> it's called Delta Omicron yeah or Delta Cron that's the, the official name Delta Cron is in the UK and immune uh, immunity is waning now Delisa so watch out folks. Oh, will it ever end? No, it won't. Um, but yeah, at least 41 patients with Deltacron have been flagged since January. Uh, and they've found them in US and US and Europe. It's a very small number of cases, um, but the variant is still under investigation. But let's hope that nothing, you know, let's hope, let's hope we don't have to have another injection, eh? More injections. Meanwhile, in health news, this is a story of a fellow... Um, in India, um, he had a stroke. He was fifty years old. He had a stroke, and he was he was on a because he had trouble swallowing and eating. He was on a pureed food diet, but this this um, this develop this led him to develop a black tongue. Oh, but it gets worse now. So, because when they if you look get really close, you get really close to it. It's a hairy black tongue. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. This is a it's a common condition. Um, it's called black hairy tongue syndrome. Funny enough, <laughs> but it's called lingua velosa nigra. There you go. And some uh, some drugs can give you that. Um, uh, Thirty percent of adults can suffer from the condition at some point in their lifetime, according to the American Academy of Oral Medicine. And I was given I was prescribed some drugs once. Um, for a, for a, I had a, a a urinary tract infection. Don't ask. This when I first thought I had diabetes. This was years ago. It was back 2012, 2013. So I went to doctors, and oh, and uh, and he he said I got it. No, it's not diabetes because he did the tests and gave me some tablets. But I read the conditions. I was always read the always read the always read the little pamphlet. And this was a it was a mighty time. And one of the side effects was black airy tongue. So I didn't take the tablets. I didn't take the tablets. Meanwhile, 
the um, the energy crisis is 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 hitting. This is the story of um, this is a fellow up in I think he lives in Bolton, but he recently got he recently got his um, new energy bill. They project they project your payment and um, and his new plan overview showed him that his monthly payments will be going up to £1,954 a month. So in total, his projected energy use, usage will be uh, nearly £21,500. There you go. So don't complain. Don't complain if your bills are high because <laughs> his bills are even worse. Meanwhile, a pop called man, um, a pop called Mad Dad. He was, uh, he's again another one from Bolton. Funny enough, Francis Loughran, fifty-five. He went to ASDA and bought a one-pound bag of popcorn, and in it, he discovered one of the kernels looked like an angel. Ah, oh. and I think we'll end it there. And that has been your coffee time for today. It's been a mixture of, well, all sorts of things. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let's see if there's anyone in the in the chat. James is in. Am I all right? I'm all right. And Harry says, greetings. Greetings to you. Remember, folks, you can like this video. You can. There is a button. I don't like asking, but please like it because nobody else does. And we'll do this all again soon, possibly Monday. I don't know. Though. It's worth me doing a weekend one. Bad enough trying to get people to watch these during the week, isn't it? But we'll carry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this into the ground. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I've been Darren Lock. This has been Coffee Time. Don't forget to drink it up, and uh, yeah, we'll do this all again soon. Ta-da!